Hello, it's great to be with you again and to share uh, with you. I hope you're well and you've had a good day. Today, after a long wait, uh, we got new cushion inserts for our sofa. Uh, up until now, um, we've been sinking slowly as the feather cushions that we bought with the sofa seven years ago have gradually been shedding their contents and uh, generally getting thinner and thinner to the point that we've had to put cushions underneath the cushions uh, for the Sunday morning uh, communion service so that we're not sitting there like this sunk into the sofa. Uh, now we've got new ones and it's really quite a, dif a difference you can see on these pictures. But there was a worrying moment when the new ones arrived because they came in two separate big bags and they were so big compared to uh, what we've got at the moment or what we had that I really wasn't confident that they were going to fit in. I thought, gosh, I've, I've measured these all wrong. I've sent the measurements to the company wrong or they've made them wrong. But there's no way I'm going to fit that cushion into uh, that, um, uh, that uh, cover. After a lot of wrestling and a lot of coaxing and a lot of squeezing and a lot of pulling and a lot of uh, teasing the zip, it went in. And as you can see, they look fantastic and they feel great. And what's even better is when you sit on them and then get up again, uh, they come back to shape. They're still as comfortable, uh, but they're really um, so much easier. They don't take all the plumping that the others did. Let me read to you this verse from Romans chapter 5. Verse 5. For this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. You know, we can try and prop up our lives with all sorts of things. We can try and underpin our lives with, with all kinds of, of uh, support structures and uh, with um, things around us and status and all of those things. But, you know, the truth is we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We need to have that abundant love that God has shown to his people right since the times of of uh, Exodus 34 when he describes himself as being Yahweh who has abundant love. Now we have this great outpouring of the Holy Spirit and Paul says to us that's the thing that won't disappoint. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit that's why God has given it to us to be filled to overflowing, filled till our seams burst, filled till uh, it just bursts out of us. We need to be filled with something that won't be crushed when we're sat on. We need to be filled with something that doesn't need the support of status or wealth or anger or uh, any, any of those things, achievement, but something that's filled from God, filled from him, filled with his presence, filled with his spirit. When we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we're seen to be different. We have that uh, sense of uh, being uh, um, satisfied and being uh, replenished and of not being deflated. When we call upon God to continually pour more and more of his spirit into us, it is his desire to do that. That's his gift. We heard about that not so long ago uh, in our motto text uh, at the beginning of Acts chapter 2. I will pour out my spirit. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Uh, your women will uh, have visions and uh, all those things. God wants to pour his spirit into us. And just as we think there isn't enough room for any more, God says there is. Have some more. We can go back and go back for a new filling for an extra from God. That's why we're spending so much time at the moment talking about the Holy Spirit, because it's an ongoing, ever-present, continuous gift from God. He wants to take us to the very limits of our seams. He wants to fill us with his presence. 
Let's not be content to be old, sad cushions. Let's not be content to have lost some of our uh, Christian stuffing and our, our spiritual fullness. Let's not be content to be propped up by other things and have a, a fake view and a fake look of what it means to be filled. Let's be full of the Holy Spirit and let's live a new life with all the spring back and all the fullness that God wants to give us. Shall we pray for that? Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit and the promise of it coming in fullness. We want to thank you that in your spirit and your provision for us and your love for us, there is just no need for us to be disappointed. Lord, we thank you so much that your spirit is freely offered to us and we can take it and you'll pour it and pour it into us. So come now, Lord Jesus, we pray, and fill us once more with your Holy Spirit again and again. Fill us afresh, stuff more in. Lord, make us open ourselves to you and may we be full to our very spiritual seams. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation. For... Uh, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Tonight as you go to sleep, ask the Lord Jesus to fill you again, just that bit more, till your seams are creaking with the love and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Good night.